Okay, starting now, I'm gonna go in the order of the SNES game using Falcon and no skips. And go. Actually, I'm glad I'm doing this because now I can get the ghost of the Falcon on tracks where I haven't run yet. Even if even if they're not going to be great ghosts, uh, at least I'm throwing something down so that when I revisit them, I have a, a little bit more of a population on the track. I do I do like the fact that I do like the fact that there are ghosts here, and even though I can't catch them because they're my best times, it doesn't feel like I'm alone on the track. Uh, while doing the 15 track time attack. Does no skip include the easy white land? No, no, no. So. I'm going to go by Z-Wing's rules here. Uh, Z-Wing's rules classify the Red Canyon one and the White Land one as, as corner cutting, and that's okay. Uh, and I'm assuming the same is for the silence cut. <clears throat> uh, we're referring to shortcuts, only ones like the super skips on White Land one and Port Town, and also the regular, well, what I like to call the regular skips shortcuts for uh, Portland 1 and 2, which is the one where you have Magneto replace you uh, on the track. So just just the stuff that's deemed, you know, very short cutty and uh, corner cutting is OK. Yes, exactly. Justin Bailey, a.k.a. Meow. And um, I haven't done some of these in a long time with Falcon, so I don't I don't even remember like the correct boost pattern. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna pretend that I'm somewhat of a fox. I'm, I'm gonna pretend that I'm a heavy set fox and treat it like so. Actually, I don't want to look at the power down thing the entire time. So after this one, I'm gonna try to slow down on the dry boosting crap after big blue I don't foresee this being that great of a time. But we got to get this leaderboard started somehow. No, no, no. Ooh, I was a bit too close to the wall there. I have five cats. I'll read them all after. I gotta, I gotta keep up here. Sorry. Katarina, Aurora, Monroe, Justin, Narpa, Sword, Bailey, Jordan. Wait, oh, those are first and last names. Wow, I only have first names. I had four, but two passed away in the last few years because of illnesses and age. I'm very much a cat lady. No, 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 wait, wait, we're not, we're not dry, we're, we're holding off on dry boosting. Ooh, 
We're gonna play like regular adults and not dry boost. I just don't remember how many times a Falcon can boost normally. Uh, two, right? Oh, it is two. Damn it, I already screwed up, huh? Especially there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to drive boost a little here, I guess. Damn it! Force of habit. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna play it like I normally play. This isn't to say this is faster, the way I'm doing it. I mean, the guy, the my ghost is clearly faster because it's the current world record, but uh, I'm sure the next person to play this with a Falcon can do a, a better time than what I'm doing here by not dry boosting. I'm sure I can do a better time than this without dry boosting, but it's a force of habit that I need to break. Alright, this one I'll play as if as if I'm in a race, so no dry boosting. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time reading the chat while doing this. Uh, I should do a test dry boosting a full lap and comparing it to its snow boost. Is it faster or slower? It depends on the track. Well, it definitely depends on the car, but let's talk just about the Falcon right now. It's very dependent on the track. Um, some tracks seem to, uh, to be okay with Falcon dry boosting, other ones just, it's just not worth it. Uh, I haven't played enough with this car to really know which one allow it's good with and which, like out of all 15, I don't know for certain which is good and which is bad except for a few. For example, it's looking like Firefield should be mostly not dry boosted except for maybe the very last section. Um, pretty sure Deathwind 1 should be dry boosted. Deathwind 2, definitely not. Um, Red Canyon 1 and 2. So, yeah, I mean, it. there's a bit of variety, but the same can also be said with the Fox. You can't dry boost every single track with Fox. Like, I can't dry boost Deathwind 2 or Red Canyon 1 with Fox. But on Deathwind 1, I think all cars perform better with dry boost. Silence, for example, I think in theory you could go faster with dry boost, but it's so dangerous and it's so dangerous that it's not worth risking unless you're a task bot. Damn, I'm getting a phone call, but I can't answer. Somebody's gonna be mad at me. It's 
It's definitely far more pleasant to play this game without dry boosting. Which is what I like about the original, is that um, that's not even an option. You just get the one boost and you deal with it, and I like that. Hmm, I guess I could have performed it better here. Oh, shoot. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. What is, uh, what is it about courses that make the difference? More turns. Um, give me one sec here to start the next one. What the? What? No, 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 no. Ah, that's going to eat into my time. Damn it. All right, well, it's not the end of the world. Press the wrong button. Oh, well. Uh, what is it? Court? So, uh, more straights, the more... Hmm, it's actually not... It's hard to tell. Because dry boosting is better in a straightaway. It's also better um, on sharp corners. You know, it's, it's hard to tell. I'm not 100% sure. Because, for example, dry boosting is definitely better on Mute City. So... I have to revisit that question when I have the cognitive ability to formulate a better sentence. Which is not when I'm time attacking. I'll get back to you on that. Because I, I don't know how to answer it right now. <laughs> but like, for example... Oh shoot, that was risky. Um, Port Town 1 and 2. While you can do it, it's not worth it. Like, even without the skips, I don't think it's worth it because of the type of corners that are involved. So if, if it looks like my, uh, like, you know, lap to lap, there's inconsistencies of plans, it is because... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Uh, again, I haven't done a lot of these with... I haven't time attacked a lot of these with Falcon yet. So I'm not 100% sure what the best option for... for um, what the best strategy for boosting is with the Falcon. Pico Piper picked a pack of wild grease and pickled peppers. Wild geese and pickled peckers. P pickled peckers? Pickled peckers. Pico Piper picked a pack of wild geese and pickled... pickled. Pico, Piper, Pico Piper picked a pack of wild geese and pickled peppers. No skip. I gotta fight my muscle memory here because it's gonna keep wanting to try to go over there. Jeez, look how far ahead the other guys are on the on the mini map. Damn it! I keep boosting like a fox, and that's why I end up dry boosting. I'm gonna skip one boost here, maybe two. Shoot. No, I got a boost there. Man, I wish I could go back to the first week of this game. Now, now that I'm, you know, my skills have been honed on a lot of these tracks. And just play with, you know, if I could travel back in time and just play with how the average player base was back then and just see what the the difference in skill would be that would be really fun okay uh go i have a book that's a guide on being a cat lady it's called men can be cat ladies too 
Yeah, I've got had cats my whole life. I like them way more than people. Then again, I I like my car more than I like people. I like uh, this random object on my desk more than I like people. So there's that. Damn it, stop foxing. Be a falcon. So this is actually a stage where dry boosting is not recommended for Falcon or Fox or Goose or Stingray or blue, red, and gray bumper. But if you're a green bumper, then by all means do. Ah, oh, and I screwed up right there. Do you like Captain Falcon? He's a person. He was almost, uh, he was almost Nintendo's, uh, icon, uh, mascot. Alright guys, I'm gonna go for the Ultra Skip. No, no really, no. Fudge, I messed up. I boosted when I was not... I keep boosting like a fox. I can't break that habit. So now I'm gonna boost behind. Or ahead. Or wasted. So I'm gonna upload this for anybody who's interested in time attacking. I'm going to upload both this and the other run. So there's going to be two 15 track time attack runs. One will be no skips, which is this one. And the other one will be no rules, which is whatever, whatever gets you across the finish line first. Um, and then, you know, if any other person, if any of you guys are interested in submitting a time for either category by all means i think of the two runs this is the one that uh the other one i'm playing as fox and i'm going all out for the most part so damn it uh so that one might be i'm sure people can beat it but it'd be a little bit harder this one here i think i think you can have a you'll have a good chance of beating it without too much effort since i'm not really putting my best foot forward with this stupid car. It's funny because actually, like, I have the world record for White Land 1 uh, with the Falcon. But that's because I'm using the Super Skip. And, like, even, even White Land 2 I have the world record and there's no dry boosting, there's no cheats. But... My brain is so used to being a fox that it's screwing up my falcon runs. Because uh, usually when I go for like falcon time attack, you know, I spend hours on it and rewire my brain when it comes to to the boost strategy. And I didn't really do that right now, so I'm I'm still in fox mode. But again, yeah, if you guys want to try to do the no skip run, I'm, I'm sure you can. <sighs> Shoot, I forgot to boost. I'm sure you can beat this run uh, without too much difficulty. That doesn't mean I won't come back and 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 uh, time attack it and try to beat you guys back. And to be fair, I do think White Land 2 will give you a run for your money even even now because uh, I still remember this one pretty well. Even though I'm one second behind my 
that Falcon up there, which is the current world record. I think it is. At least last time I checked, it's still the world record. Of these three ghosts ahead of me, the Falcon and the... Damn it! And the Fox are world records, and the Goose is uh, second place to Nanashi, who is a second faster than my uh, Goose run. <clears throat> In fact, I do believe uh, Nanashi's Goose run is faster than both my Falcon and Fox uh, times. Do you play on a big TV or computer? Um, an old, it's, it's, it's an old TV, which is like a large computer monitor, basically. It's like, a, I don't know, 10 year old TV that still has, that has HDMI. It's on my, it's on my work desk, so it's not that big. Sorry, I'm, I'm just looking at the, a few of the chat things. I, I can't res like read them all because I do want to try. Even though this isn't the most competitive time attack that I'm doing, I still want to try to put a decent time in. Although the minute Z-Wing touches, touches the uh, time attack, the minute Z-Wing time attacks these 15 tracks, it's gonna be on a whole a whole other ball game, in a different league. Why do I have a goose ghost in here? I don't remember ever time attacking this with goose. Boy. The cool thing about this is uh, even if that now I, after this run, I will officially have, like even if you've never played a car and you decided to use a car for this time attack, after that you could submit each run as a single segment run and populate the board for the other 15 tracks with uh, with those. So you get yourself on the leaderboard and you get yourself points just by doing this once. So of these three ghosts in front of me, Falcon and Goose are the current world records. I just got them today. Uh, Fox, I think I'm in second or third place on the board. So just to show you the difference compared to like casual driving and, and those guys ahead were where I was really trying my best. If you do that enough times, you gain 400. It'll, it'll, the game will uh, reward you and give you an extra 100 kilometer an hour boost on Firefield. 
just so you watch. Give me 10 minutes. Okay, good. I had to send a message so I don't get in too much trouble. He's too powerful to be left alive. Lol, that jiggle is too funny. It's Michael J. Fox behind the wheel. Alright, no skip, no skip, no skip. There you go. Good, I get now I get to watch what the difference is between regular and... Oh wait, that is the Fox and I did the, the Mega Skip. Or super skip just once, so... Or did I? I don't remember. Yeah, I did, I did. That, that's the only ghost I have here right now. Damn, yeah, man, look at that red dot, how far how far he, ahead he is. No, stop being a fox, you idiot. You're not a fox. Well, okay, wait. Technically, you're, you're Michael J. Fox right now. But that's that's a... You know what? I should start doing that strategy with the fox. That would make a lot more sense. How many track how many races do I have left after this? Two, right? Oh god, I thought I was going to hit the thing.
All right, one more to go. Sorry, I didn't realize my microphone was off. Help, I laid down and now four cats are sleeping on me. Lucky. All right, this is it. This is the final one. And then I have an official time for the no skip time attack. No skip. Of the four vehicles as it stands right now, I think Falcon is the most fun one to play on Firefield because you don't have to rely on too much on dry boosting. In fact, maybe maybe you don't, I don't know, the last lap you might have to a little, but in general, you can play it without worrying about dry boosting. You don't have to smash your face into a wall like a Stingray. It's, it's overall a pleasant experience. More so than the other cars in my opinion. And there's overall less risk of dying. Too bad I'm not going to dry boost to the end because I don't want to risk losing now. So I think uh, the ghost is going to catch up regardless. There he is. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I'm not going for the world record Falcon right now. Oh shoot, timer! Okay, there we go. 33 minutes, 23 seconds. So that's my first official time for the no skip 15-track uh, time attack.